What's going on, guys? I'm Eli Martyr. Thanks for joining me here on the Free Melon Society once again. I went to a judo class, my first judo class. I wanted to take my camera and document the document the trip. A friend of mine who I met working on set last year, uh, turns out that she is a judo practitioner, a very high level judo practitioner. You'll meet her in just a bit. But yeah, so I'm going to head out to the gym and we are going to, see, this is, this is the goal, all right? Let me just tell you what the goal is. The, the goal is to be such an unstoppable judo, judoic, ju, judoic force that I have the ability to defend myself against an onslaught of stampeding wildebeest. That's what I want. All right, that is my goal. And in order to do that, I need to improve my my judo game and my strength. Maybe I wouldn't need judo classes if I was freakishly strong. <laughs> freakishly strong like our buddy over at Vegetable Police, Mr. Casey. You ever seen him do those one-armed chin-ups? It's pretty impressive, man. Holy smokes, I can't do that. Go check out some of Vegetable Police's videos and watch him do those freaking one arm chin ups, man. It's it, man. That is no joke. So, yeah. Can he do it? Let us look at the footage. But I'm not there yet. I want to learn some judo, so let's head over to the gym and see what's going on. It is yet another snowy, cold, and wet day here in Toronto, Ontario. All right, we have arrived here at the gym, here at the wonderful Monkey Vault. And we're gonna step inside, and I'm actually running, well, I'm not quite late, but I'm uh, a little bit later than I want to be. So let's get inside real quick and see what's going on. Oh, jeez, I almost slipped. Okay, so this is the gear. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, I should take my sweater off. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of pulled something. So. Oh, he can't make it. Yeah, he can't okay, make it. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Your brother? Yeah. Oh, Terrell. Me? Uh, uh, yes. I, I, I have met him. It's been a while. Yeah. And that's. The, I'm gonna have to refresh, uh, refresh my memory on yeah. how to how to do this properly. <laughs> so this is the wonderful Oenima. She's going to be our instructor today. And we've got a small class. So this is Mr. Avery, my man, longtime friend and uh, fellow stuntman. Fellow stuntman, student and teacher at the same time. I won't record everything here. We'll just get some bits and pieces because you want to want to respect the class as well. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get started, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. So the objective is to learn one move, um, left and right side, especially for stunts. How to do it without a key. Judo was created as a defensive, so somebody was coming to attack you, you use their body force to fight out of you. So depending on your height, your length, everything is an advantage and a disadvantage. So when you're taller and you have longer limbs, somebody that is shorter or greater center of gravity can get away with it easier. So your standard grip for judo is your lapel grip and your sleeve grip. It helps move the whole entire back. When I move my opponents, I'm not using my strength of my arm. So it is your whole entire body that moves the person. And then me, literally. Because when I walk past them, he has to come with me. And that close to my distance. I move in your hips and just keep going. And then the other side.
Okay, so this is our instructor, Oeniwa. Thank you so much for the class. No yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and um, can you just give us a little, brief little description of uh, what is judo? What are we learning? Well, judo is known as a gentle way yeah. and is being able to take your opponent's energy and direction and redirect it so them. And it was made as self defense to get away from people, but then it's a sport. So um, you're able to throw people and maneuver their body weight and their momentum to your advantage. Right. What we were doing in class today, so what was that technique? Um, it's a sotogiri, leg hook is my word picture for it. Okay. Um, but it's um, leg reap. And the purpose of the class is really, it's for stunt people. Like I customized um, judo for stunts in order for people in the industry to throw and enjoy being thrown. Because usually on set, when you do movement, you gotta do it multiple times. Yeah. And when you are able to understand people's movement and how they feel, you can keep it consistent. Um, because usually when the take is happening, it's like on maybe the third, fourth, fifth, tenth. And if you're using your energy, then at the end of the day, you're exhausted. Yeah. And then you muscle it. And when you muscle it, it hurts and it doesn't feel good. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was a great class. And so I'm looking forward to doing it again. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Well, that was the day. It was a lot of fun. I, you know, I was thinking, like, oh gosh, maybe we should go try some other funky classes that I've never done before. Maybe we'll go take like a ballet class and see if they'll let me bring my camera and record. That'd be fun. All right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. I'm Eli Martyr. Subscribe to the Freemelon Society if you like videos like this. And um, yeah, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. That's always going to help out my channel, which I really appreciate. Love you very much. And catch you next time here on the Freemelon Society.